in this video we will cover the second part of our anti-geometric relation brought to you by chalk and duster in which we will discuss number of all possible different anti-symmetric relations on set A. So we do have a set A which are having element as A1, A2, An and we do define a relation R on set A. This is our matrix or table by which we will define whether a relation is anti-symmetric or not. So these are a so these are our element a1, a2, an in the horizontal row and this one a1, a2, an in the vertical column. So any combination of row and column that will produce a particular element of this relation R. So what element we are having? We are having a1, 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 a2. Similarly in this way we are having a1, a1. So we will fill this table first of all. So these are the element here. This is a n a1, a n a2 and finally a n a n. So if you remember what is an anti-symmetric relation? Anti-symmetric relation means if we are having x comma y in our relation such that x is not equal to y then y comma x must not be present in our relation. Okay. So for this diagonal element that is a1 a1 a2 a2 up to a n a n we are having two possibilities. Either we can have this element or we may not have this element right. So for diagonal, diagonal element, how many diagonal elements are there? From a1, a2, an. So we are having n diagonal element and for each of them, we are having two options. That means total number of options available to us is 2 into 2 into 2 up to n times. So for diagonal element, we are having 2 to the power n number of options. Okay. Now we will move to our second part. This lower triangular part, that is the element that is below your principal diagonal. So this element basically. For this element, what we are absent, what options are available to us that we will explore. Suppose A2, A1 is there. For the relation to be anti-symmetric, A1, A2 must not be present there, right? What if A2, A1 is not present? Then A1, A2 may be present or may not be present. Okay, we will understand this in a better way. So we are having the element AB, and here we are having the element. So basically, this one is my lower triangular portion, and this one is upper triangular portion. So we are having AB in the lower triangular portion and BA in the upper triangular portion, right? Suppose AB is present in lower triangular portion and BA is present in lower triangular portion. So this case is not acceptable. Why? Because we are having AB as well as we are having BA. So we, this relation can't be a anti-symmetric relation. Okay. Suppose AB is present but BA is not present. Then for sure this relation is anti-symmetric. Suppose AB is not present here. If AB is not present here, we may either have BA or we may not have BA. So in both these cases, this relation would be anti-symmetric. Right? So for each element AB, we are having three options available to us this three option for its three option this satisfies the condition of anti-symmetric relation okay how many elements are there in this lower triangular portion or upper triangular portion the total number of element that is obviously n square and number of diagonal element that is n so the number of element that is non-diagonal is n square minus n and these are equally distributed in lower triangular portion and upper triangular portion that means number of element in lower triangular portion that is n square minus n by 2. And for each element how many options are available to us? So for each element we are having 3 options available to us. That means total number of ways is 3 into 3 into t 3. How many number of times? n square minus n number of n square minus n by 2 number of times. So total number of options available to us is 3 times n square minus n by 2. So this was the case for diagonal element and this was the case of non-diagonal element. So finally when we define the total number of element, total number of relations that we can have that would be the product of these two by simple product law. So finally our answer would be 2 to the power n into 3 to, 3 to the power n square minus n by 2. That's it. So this is the total number of relation, total number of different relation possible. Hope you like this video. Thank you so much.